Hi guys, I haven't done a sew and tell video in a while, so I thought this is a great opportunity. Today we'll review the new swimsuit pattern by Megan Nielsen called Cottesloe. I hope I pronounce it right. As you can see, I am pregnant and I will show you how to modify this pattern to a maternity swimsuit. So first I print and cut all the pages from the PDF file. Um, I like to use my guillotine paper cutter for that, but of course regular scissors are totally fine. By the way, this video is not sponsored at all, but you can find links to everything I will mention in the description box. I decided to make view A without a tie, but with lining and shelf bra. You can see in my blog post which pages you are supposed to print in that case. The link is in the description box, of course. I have to say that I never ever sewn a swimsuit before and I was very skeptical about this project. But as you saw at the beginning of this video, it turned out amazing. So take that in mind while you're watching the rest of the video. Because I was new not only to swimsuit sewing, but also to modify patterns to maternity wear, I looked online for help, just like you did, and found this video. So with the help of a post by DB Club, I changed and graded the pattern to my size and added more room for my growing belly. I have more recommendation on that on my blog post. You can see my measurements and sizes I used in the blog post, but in general what I did was to change and grade the pattern at the front part first and then use that to alter the shelf bra and the back. So here I mark the three main sizes, which are the bust, waist and hip. Then I try to follow the pattern as much as I can while I move between sizes. I tried a couple of times until I felt like I got it right, so the dark green mark is the final one. Then I cut only the front piece and match my marks on the other side of it. Then I noticed it looks a bit weird, so I smooth the middle of the waist on both sides. For the belly, I added four inches, which are 10 centimeters, as was suggested in the DB Club post. It was easy to know where to add this extra length because Megan added a mark on her pattern. So thank you, Megan, that was super easy. This fabric was so slippery, I had to use some creative weights to hold it. I first cut the front piece of the pattern and sew the gather on both lining and main fabric. I gathered five inches, which are 12.7 centimeters, even though I added four inches earlier. Quick tutorial on how to gather. Mark the fabric to know where to start and stop sewing. Then sew with no going back and forth at the beginning or at the end. And with long spaces between stitches, you can change that on your machine. Now pull one of the threads and the fabric will gather. You can also pull one thread on the other side as well. And then tie a knot so the seam will not unravel. I measured the length of the gathering to know what to add to the back piece, which was 2 cm or 0.8 inches. And again, it was very easy to know where to add the extra length. For copyright reasons, I will not show you the rest of the sewing, but I can say that this pattern by Megan Nielsen is so perfect and easy to follow. I highly recommend it and you can see more details about the shelf bra and other measurements in my blog post. Thank you for watching and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. 
see you guys in the next video. Bye!